have another first impression for you guys. Um, this one, I did not get the footage of me actually applying the foundation. Um, the foundation I'm going to be talking about is the Revlon Nearly Naked. Um, I'm in the color Cappuccino, which was also my color for the Revlon Color Stab. Um, like I said, I didn't get footage of me putting on the foundation. I was in a rush this morning, and I, I knew I wanted to do it, so I went ahead and put it on. Um, I do have a few pictures that I can show you guys of it when I put it on. Um, I still do have it on, and I'm actually a little shocked at the results not in a bad way in a good way because um i did watch some reviews before i actually went and got it and i was getting under the impression that it was it is a lightweight foundation but i was more under the impression that it was a low coverage to medium coverage foundation not really a full coverage and with me, I can pretty, I can say it is pretty, I wouldn't say full coverage, but a kind of medium coverage close to high, like full coverage. Um, but with that being said, I'm not really sure because I prime my face with um, the Rimmel Fix and Perfect Primer. Um, this is in the 001. I have the other one too. But this one is supposed to be, it's a peach color primer I can see that it's a peach color primer so it's supposed to help tone down some of the hyperpigmentation us women of color have like around um, our mouth and my chin and then I also have hyperpigmentation from my glasses around my nose and that was what really surprised me because um, I did my first impression video on the um, cover girl stay fabulous and it didn't you know, it kind of did what every other foundation does. You know, it faintly covers the line around my nose. And with this foundation, I mean, I did use a lot. Because, <laughs> you know, I knew it was supposed to be a lightweight foundation. I did use a lot, but still at the same time, like, my my whole little... It's not really visible. It's kind of visible now, because it's been a little while. But when I first put it on, you couldn't see it at all. Um, like I said, I don't know if it was because of the Rimmel Fix and Perfect or if it's just how good this foundation is. Um, I also set it with the um, Ruby Kisses HD Set and Forgets. I am in the color Rich. Um, I used that and I actually love them two together. Um, it was really, it gave me a very matte look. I'm actually loving this. I bought it and I was going to use it as an under high, under eye highlight as my set for my under eye highlight, but um, it's a little bit too dark. So, um, and then with my other foundations, it didn't really match very well. It kind of changed the color, but I've noticed with um, my Revlon and also with the CoverGirl, this works perfectly with them. Um, to get into the whole review of how I feel about this um, foundation. Well, first of all, compared to the Revlon Color Stay, the formulas are kind of similar, I can tell. Um, this is not as thick as Revlon Color Stay because it's supposed to be more lightweight, like I said. Um, but as far as like the feel or the texture, you could say, it was very close um, when you put it on your skin it does look kind of dewy when you first put it on but it dries very semi matte um, it doesn't have the staying power as color stay color stay I will say that but with um, like I said with my ruby kisses it really turned out to be very matte once I put that on um, and you see how the color matches if you guys want to see that and 
Um, also, it wasn't really hot today, so I can't can't really tell how it stood up to heat, but um, it worked pretty well throughout the um, this weather. Um, nothing really happened that was, you know, like I didn't really have to touch up my makeup. Um, I probably could have touched up the powder. That was horrible. But I just didn't bring it with me. Um, it does have transfer. It's not as matte and as the cover girl. I will say that also. But um, I think I will like this foundation for the summertime. Hopefully, um, it's very buildable. I can say that if you, you know, apply, you know, two or three layers of it, it could be very buildable. But all in all, I give it a thumbs up. It does compare to the color stay, not in staying power, power, but as far as like um, the finish, I really liked it. I really like the finish. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna have to redo this whole CoverGirl Stay Fabulous because it was a you know. <laughs> For some reason, I actually, I would say I like the Nearly Naked better than I like the Stay Fabulous. I've only worn the Stay Fabulous once, and I did put on a light layer of it, so we're going to have to see about that, you know. I said it was alright, and it didn't really have any, like, color problems, but um, also with this, I love the color that it was. When I put it on, I was like, ugh, okay, you know. It wasn't really too light for me, but I could see, like, the color difference. I don't know how to explain it. It wasn't too light, but I didn't like the color it was for me. At first, I did not like the color. But, um, like I said, I set it with the um, Ruby Kisses, and then it gave a very natural color to me. Um, most foundations I use, if I don't put, you know... I didn't put any blush, contour, highlight, nothing. All I did was my eyes and my eyebrows, and I put on foundation. And this foundation did not make my my face look just black. It just, it still kind of kept some of the natural shading and highlights of the face, which I did like. Um, it also, and also I had a problem with my foundations. Um, once I put the, apply them to my face, they don't match my chest area like the color kind of is sometimes a little bit off slightly you know not really that much of a difference but I know I think with this one um, with the Revlon near the naked it was pretty darn close because you see I have my my whole chest area out today and I was looking and I noticed it was very close um, Excuse me, but it was really close in color. Um, but like I said, I really liked this in foundation for today. It was, it has so many different dimensions from what I'm understanding. It can go from lightweight to a buildable coverage. Um, it, it is kind of like the Stay Fabulous. It doesn't feel like you have on makeup like most of other foundations do and it I love the color match I really do love the color match um but that's all I really have to say about it um I just really want to experiment it experiment with it as far as the different setting powders since I have like five <laughs> different setting powders and then I also want to test it without my fix and perfect and see if it actually covers up my dark circles so um that's all i have for you guys today i will talk to you guys in my next video and don't forget to please comment and subscribe give me a thumbs up if you like the video and i'll talk to you guys later